Hey, you. Go ahead and take a moment to get settled in. And then allow attention to rest on the ever-changing flow of experience. Notice the fleeting and ephemeral quality of each sound and sensation. Notice the energetic waves of thoughts and emotions coming and going. And now I invite you to bring up your earliest childhood memory. It's the earliest memory you can spark. Even if it's just a feeling, just bring that here. Open to all memories and feelings and thoughts and emotions you had as a child. Imagine your childhood home. Imagine what it looked like. Imagine the surrounding area. Your neighbors, the roads, the yard. Notice the plants and flowers, the trees and bushes. Notice what the air smells like. What does it feel like? Can you imagine the different seasons there? And what about inside your home? What is it like to walk through the front door or the garage door or the back door? What color and texture are the walls? Does your home have a smell to it? What's the lighting like? The feeling like? How is it decorated? What does it feel like? Can you imagine your bedroom, the light switches and windows, and the closet? Is your room a different color than the rest of the house? What does the carpet or floor look like? What does it feel like? Can you imagine yourself playing in there? Sleeping in there? Laughing and crying in there? See if you can get in touch with your inner state at that time. What did you feel like? What was this little child? What were you experiencing?
What were your interests and impulses? Your fears and worries? What brought you joy? And what brought you sorrow? What were your pains, your traumas, your trials? Really allow your heart to become one with this child's heart. Allow yourself to touch it, to feel it, to know it directly. And with the most delicate, tender, and loving care, allow this child to express whatever trauma, fear, anger, resentment, or grief they may be holding on to. Let the child know that it's okay. Let them know that they're in your strong, gentle, and caring arms. That they're safe and loved. Allow the mindfulness to transform you and this child. Allow it to see and to know your pain and suffering, and to hold it with love, to accept it fully from the all-embracing space of awareness. And see if you feel any kind of compassion naturally arising from this space. And in the last minute of the session, realize in a flash that you really do want this kid to be happy. You want them to be free from suffering. You want them to know a lasting peace. Stand behind this intention with the entirety of your being. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering. May you feel safe and warm and cared for. May you feel felt, seen, heard, and acknowledged. May you have the courage. To love yourself. To have compassion for yourself. To forgive yourself. May you have the courage to be free. May you truly be at peace. Well, thank you again for practicing. Many of us carry a wounded child within. Some of us were neglected and abused, some even by the ones we loved. Others of us lived in fear of where our next meal would come from, or whether we would have a roof over our heads at night. 
Some of us never received any caring attention or acknowledgement. We were deprived of esteem and affection. Whatever it is, whatever pains we suffered, try not to leave this wounded child behind. Don't let them remain isolated and cut off and afraid. Remember to open to them and their traumas. Let the mindfulness you've cultivated and the insights it's brought you about the interconnected nature of all existence help to heal and transform that fear and that isolation. Allow the composure, equanimity, and compassion you've cultivated to strengthen that child and to collect the shattered pieces of your being. Allow yourself to become whole. In any case, I hope you feel the unbounded love I have for you. Until next time.